Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a makeup declutter. I'm going to be breaking this up into two parts because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I didn't think that like doing the eyeshadow palettes and all the rest of the makeup together would be a very short video. I thought it would be pretty long and I didn't really think you guys would want to sit through all that. So we're going to do two parts here. I'm going to do all eyeshadow makeup declutter today. I love eyeshadow palettes so much and I love buying them and stuff and I used to have a bad thing for like collecting all a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes. I have gotten rid of a few already like in the past but I still have a lot and the reason I'm going through a makeup declutter anyways is because I want to get rid of some of my old eyeshadow palettes. I have so many and a lot of them are really old. A lot of them I never use. Um, a lot of them I keep around that aren't great that I swear I'm going to use because I either spent money on them. So, And we'll just go through and see what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to toss. And it will really depend too on how old they are. Um, some of them are pretty old. So some of them need to go whether I love them or not. Okay, I'm going to do all my small shadow palettes first. This, these ones here, like some small ones here. So let's first start with all my Smashbox palettes. I have four here. The Cover Shot Petal Metal Eye Palette. Um, this is what it looks like here. It's super pretty. All these like really warm, nice shades. They're really shimmery, gorgeous. This is a great palette. I love this palette. I'm going to keep this. It's not that old and I still really like it. This one here is the Cover Shop Bold Eye Palette. I've had this for quite a while. I think I bought it sometime before that. I'm not exactly sure when I got this. I really do like this palette. I think this is a great one to keep if you love bolds and if even if you're going, even if you're not going to use bolds that much and you want a small palette to have of bolds just in case, this is a great palette. These bolds blend so well and these are so gorgeous. Um, the only reason I might part with this is because it is really old and I do have a lot of bolder shades within a lot of my bigger palettes so i'm going to put it to the side and i'm going to think about it we're going to think about that one um this is the smashbox pinks and palms eye pa pinks plus palms eye palette i haven't even touched this one i bought this and i completely forgot that i had it I actually have a few items in here that i completely forgot that i had so we're going to still play with this we're going to keep this i might do like an eyeshadow look just exclusively using it. It's mainly just pinks and then it's got this like really pretty like aqua shade right here. It's a gorgeous palette. I'm really excited to use it and I completely forgot I had it so we are still gonna keep this. This is the denim eyeshadow palette and um, this is a really pretty eyeshadow palette. The only thing is it's a bit cool toned for me and I have warm toned skin so this isn't the greatest for my complexion. But I do really love the blues in here for like a pop of color. So I am going to keep it for the blues because this again isn't that old. The Rich Nude Hue to Beauty palette right here. This is a beautiful palette. I love this palette. I think I bought this like literally just when I was shopping at Sephora and I saw it like on their kiosk thing when you leave. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. It's super pretty. It's one of my favorites. I am going to keep it. This is really old. I do not know how long I've had this for and I'm not exactly sure which concerns me for using it. Um, I haven't used it in a long time. It is a great palette. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. This is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions. It is a gorgeous palette. I have used this a lot. I love it so much. This yellow I used a ton. It's so pretty. Um, this is a great palette. I am sadly going to part with it though because it is so old and I don't even know how long I've had this for. It's been sitting in my drawer forever but I have so many other palettes that have these types of shades but this is still like the Hue to, Be Hue to Beauty palettes are beautiful and I love them. They blend so nicely so but we're going to part with that one. The Milani Everydays Must Have Metallics. These are gorgeous drugstore palettes. I love these drugstore palettes. The metallics in these are amazing. I don't know if you can still get this. This is quite old. I'm not exactly sure. But if you can still get this and you see this at the drugstore, these are great eyeshadow palettes. 
Milani makes some beautiful products. I especially love their eyeshadows like these. Um, I am going to part with this because it is quite old, but it is an awesome palette. Um, really quick, I'll just show you these anyways. I am going to keep these. This is the ColourPop Star Wars Mandalorian. My husband got these for our anniversary and I love them. I've actually been dipping into this one quite a bit lately and this one's so fun and cool to play with. The greens on in here are so beautiful and they blend so nicely. Like, I have been loving this and I am definitely keeping it. The ColourPop Mandalorian eyeshadow palette. I haven't even opened this. Um... It is, it looks beautiful inside, like it is gorgeous. I will not be partying with this. Again, my husband bought me the entire set from an anniversary gift, so I will definitely be playing with this. I do have a single shadow, it is a Sephora matte. Um, I bought this for like a pop of color. I was looking for like a kind of like a dark green in particular for an eyeshadow look I was doing one time. Um, this is okay. It's fine. I'm going to pass on it because it's quite old and it, I just remember it being fine. So I'll also show you this palette right here. I forgot this was a smaller one than I have. This is the e.l.f. made for matte eyeshadow palette. This is awesome. This is a great matte eyeshadow palette from the drugstore. It blends like an expensive eyeshadow palette. This is an awesome one. I'll just show you what this one looks like here. I think they have a few different shades. I've had this one for quite a while. I am going to throw this out because it is quite old, but I definitely will be restocking on this. It is one of my favorites and I do like keeping this on hand because it blends so nicely and it is a really nice option to have in your makeup collection. Also, this is a great palette for beginners. This is also the one called Summer Breeze. My Anastasia Beverly Hills collection. I don't want to part with any of these. I love these. I love these so much. This is a Norvana one. I've used these shimmer shades so much. This is a gorgeous palette. It is so, so, so pretty. I'm going to keep it. It's not, it's... It's kind of old, but not that old. It's, it's, this is just my, this is my thing. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So this is staying. The Riviera Anastasia, the Riviera one. Again, gorgeous packaging. These are beautiful, beautiful, um, bold shades. I'm definitely going to keep this, like, so pretty. This is the only one I'm partying, partying with, and the only reason is because this palette is so old. I don't know how old this is. I've had this forever. Um, I haven't parted with it for so long because I use it all of the time, and I love... This is like the OG. This is the palette that I bought, my very first like expensive palette I ever got, and I love this palette. This is what got me like into the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette has been used so much. Like you can see dents in here. This, the Vermeer shade has been used so much. Like this palette has definitely been used. It is so old. I'm going to part with this because, and I'm going to restock it because um, I definitely want to get a new one because I still use it a lot and I love it. If you're looking for like a good beginner shadow palette and you want to buy something a bit more on the expensive side, this is an awesome palette, especially for people that have warm toned skin. Beautiful palette. The sultry one, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I didn't honestly use this one as much as the rest of them. It's a bit more cool toned. It's still super pretty. It's just, if I'm honest, I didn't use it as much as the rest of them. It's as good as all the other palettes. Like it blends amazing. There's nothing different about it. It's just that I don't really use these shades as much on myself. Um, it's a bit more cool toned. So I think I'm going to pass on this one and I'm going to just toss it. So while we're talking about Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to show you the Norvana collection. Um, I saw this on Sephora and I just, I had to have it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Like these shades are so pretty. I'm definitely keeping this. It's not super old and I love it. A lot of really pretty 
bold shades so i love this palette this is an awesome one so we're going to move on to Urban Decay. I only have two Urban Decay here. I have the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This one, again, is really pretty, super gorgeous. I love this. I've used it a few times. I really do like this palette. I'm thinking about tossing it because I haven't used it in a long time. And it kind of just sits there. I don't use it as much as my other palettes. It's still a beautiful palette though. I do really like this palette. So if you're looking for like a warm toned plus neutral eyeshadow palette, this is a really good one. I do really like it. I'm thinking about it. I'm putting a think about my own. The Urban Decay Born to Run. I bought this for the packaging, 100%. I think the packaging on this is like so cool. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason I purchased this. The actual shades inside are okay. They're pretty. Um, I've used this palette a few times. I do really love the these two pink shades right here. These are really pretty. I've used these a lot. Um, but if I'm being quite honest, I don't really use this palette very often. It's fine. I honestly think I saw the packaging and I was like, ooh, pretty. And then that's what made me buy it. I don't think you can get this anymore. I'm not sure exactly, but... It is a really pretty palette. I just don't use it very much. So the Violet Voss Best Life eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. It's got these like glitter shades up here. These shades down here. I am not throwing this out. It is a gorgeous palette and I love it. I've used it a few times. If I'm ever going anywhere where I want a few neutral shades, but also I want a whole bunch of bright glitter stuff, I bring this with me. This is a really cool palette. I love this palette. It's awesome. It's staying. The Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I'm going to pass on this. Um, it is really pretty, and I have used it a few times, and I do like it. I just don't use it very often anymore. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this one because I have a lot of other shades that are just like this, so I'm not going to worry about it. But it, again, is a gorgeous palette. So this is what it looks like here. Super pretty. Just really old. My Winnie the Pooh ColourPop palette. My husband just got this for me for our anniversary, and I will not be throwing this out, obviously. It is, like, it is brand new. I haven't even gotten into this yet. It is super pretty. Like, this packaging is gorgeous. The shadows inside look really pretty. I love the Mandalorian one, so I'm assuming I probably will love this too. But it is definitely staying. The Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. This is 100% staying. I've had this for a while, but I'm not giving this up. Mainly because this palette is like... How much is this palette? One second. Three hours later. This palette is $195. Yes, $195. I believe I got this when this was on sale, when it was like $180 or something. It is an extremely expensive palette. It is gorgeous, though. I do absolutely love it. Um, I have used it so much, as you can tell. And I will still use it. I ain't throwing this away. This was so expensive. It's definitely a little old. <laughs> Is it worth the like $195 price tag? I don't think any eyeshadows worth 195 bucks. It is a really good eyeshadow palette though. If you wanted to splurge, get a Natasha Denona palette. You won't regret it. These shades blend amazingly. I've tried a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I haven't found a better eyeshadow palette than this brand. So I will use this eyeshadow palette probably till the end of time because of how much money I spent on this. I did use this on my wedding day. It is a gorgeous palette. It lasts so long. Like the longevity on these shadows are amazing. So if you ever wanted to purchase a Natasha Denona, it's a, they're beautiful. It's just expensive. The Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. I've had this probably as long as my Modern Renaissance. This is so old. <laughs> um, it is a really pretty palette. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. 
here's what the inside here looks like. I've used it a few times in the past. I've definitely done some looks with it. It's really pretty. It blends really well. There's nothing wrong with this palette. I just never use it and it's really old and it probably needs to go. And it's just gonna sit there in my drawer and never be used. So it's going to go. I'm kind of sad to say goodbye because I do really like this palette. It's just I never really use it. It just sits there. It's kind of one of those palettes like it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I just seem to never really use it. And so I always think I'm going to use it and it just sits at the bottom of my pile. So this palette is absolutely amazing. I will definitely not be giving this up. This is the Tati Beauty palette. She is a YouTuber and she, I'm a huge fan of her channel. I've been following her channel for a long time and I love this palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. You cannot buy this anymore. I would love for her to bring back more of her stuff. This eyeshadow palette was, is like, is amazing. It is so good. I mean, I love using it and I will definitely keep using it. So this is what my palette drawer is looking like now. This is what I am keeping. And that is what I am tossing. Okay, so that was all the eyeshadow palettes. I will be doing a makeup declutter part two. It pretty much will be like everything else except for lipsticks. Lipsticks will be a part three because I have so many lip products. Like I have a lot. I have way too many for one person. But anyways, if you want to see a part two, you can click that subscribe button, click the notification. That will be coming next Friday. Okay, bye.